What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, we just defeated Watson, and I decided that I needed to catch something for Rock Smash, so check this out. I got myself a reincarnated Ballin. So I went and caught this Meryl, um, because it seemed like pretty interesting. So it's got a thick fat, um, would have preferred a huge power one, but it's jolly, so that's actually not too shabby. And, uh, hell yeah. So, let's go ahead and teach this guy Rock Smash. Our next order of business is to head north of this place. And then go towards uh, towards those rocks over uh, where we saw earlier. So let's go ahead and teach Rock Smash. I'm gonna teach it to Ballin. I don't want to teach it to Mintang. So I'm like, you know what, Ballin, you can be my Rock Smasher. I got rid of Wingle um, and replaced it with Ballin, just because he switched out Water types and Water Fairy might be a little bit more handy. So let's go ahead and teach it Rock Smash rather than Defense Curl. And we are all good to go. Ballin has learned Rock Smash. Alright. So, not sure which way we're supposed to go, but we're just gonna go this way. This might be the correct way? I don't know. Who knows? So if we head... Oh! Oh! Looks like we went the right way. What's going on, Team Magma Dudes? Where are we supposed to be? Um, where are we going again? It's Mount Chimney! Stay spaced out, and you'll get scolded by Maxi. Mount Chimney. It'll be a long walk going along Route 112 to get there. I wish I had brought some snacks. <laughs> so they pretty much tell us exactly where to go. We're basically just kind of following these magma dudes, and uh, let's do it. So, we're on Route 111 here. So we were already kind of on this route earlier. Let's go ahead and hop on the old bicycle, wheelie up some stairs, because I'm a fucking BMX legend. And uh, we can go ahead and... hold on, I haven't even... Okay, so we got a little pond over this way. Basically, we just gotta smash one of these rocks here. So we're gonna have our new buddy Ballin over here. Go ahead and uh, smash that rock. And we obtained a soft sand. Okay, cool. There was some soft sand in that rock. That is interesting. That is interesting. So who should we have in front here? We're going to have some battles. So, you know, we have, we're going to leave Cornelius in front. He could probably use some experience. So, what's going on, guy? If you don't raise your Pokemon some more, it may be tough to keep winning through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon League's Elite Four are far stronger than any gym leader. It makes sense. Here, we've got a little double battle with these, uh, these people. Everybody remembers these fucking guys. Hey, look at here. A tough-looking trainer of all places. Camera's rolling. So these news people are going to want to get a battle with us. What's going on? You got two Pokemon. Magnemite and a Wishmer. So that's cool. We're going to have uh, Cornelius and Little Root come out here. Little Root's going to beast through this. Uh... See, this Magnemite is still a damn problem. I'm going to just spark the Wishmer. And then, uh, you know what? Just Leaf Blade the Magnemite. See how much it does. Fuck it. Little Root's a beastly level, so. Alright, it's almost a two-hit KO, but of course, not quite. And the spark is a two-hit KO on that thing, and we get the paralysis. Hell yeah! This thing's gonna go for a magnet bomb. Don't be throwing your magnets at me, you dick. Now it's gonna supersonic my Grovile. That's annoying as hell. Hmm. I'm gonna spark the Wishmer again. Um, let's just go ahead and hope that I don't hurt myself. Try to get a leaf blade off on this Magnemite again. As all right, broke through it. Critical hit, please. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Damn it. So the Magnemite's gonna live it. But, at least the Wishmer is going to die. See you later, you weird little bunny, ugly thing. And Little Root grew to level 28. Jesus, bro. Getting so many levels. Little Root wants to learn agility. How about no? Go ahead and give up on that. And Steven grew to level 25. Nice. This thing's going to go for a Magnet Bomb. Again. Ouch. Doesn't really hurt. All I gotta do... Let's go ahead and spark this thing one more time. Doesn't matter if I get paralyzed. Or, I mean, not paralyzed. If I hit myself in confusion. And I don't, actually. So I'm able to kill it with one more Leaf Blade. And that is a dead-ass Magnemite. And you interview people. Suck balls. Interviewers Gabby and Ty. My eyes did not deceive me. Amazing trainer spotted. Now they're going to want to interview me and shit. So that's, that's annoying. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Please tell me, explain, we travel around everywhere, interviewing all sorts of trainers. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I ain't got time for now, motherfuckers. Alright, so here we got a little picnicker dude. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? Sure. You know, why not? Could always enjoy a nice battle, picnicker. Irene's got a plusle. Well, that is not going to work too well with Cornelius. I'm sick and tired of these electric types. Seriously, man. What should we do here? I'm just gonna go into Matang. Let Matang kill this thing. Just because Matang is a fucking beast, and he is just so helpful. 
So he's gonna go for a spark now. Okay, ouch. Your spark kind of hurts. But not really. So I'm gonna hit this thing with an iron head. Oh, shouldn't have went for the iron head. I'm stupid. Damn it. Why did I iron head? It doesn't really matter, I guess. It's only level 16 plus all. And holy shit, almost killed it in one hit with a critical hit. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with a confusion just because I can. That is why. So the confusion is going to hit the plusle. And great success. Is that this guy's only Pokemon? Did you only have one plusle? Cordelia is screwed to level 21. Pinhead, level 26. Wants to learn Stun Spore. Alright, alright. That's kind of respectable. We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of Quick Attack. Ain't nobody want Quick Attack. Stun Spore might actually come in handy if I want to paralyze some shit. So, Ballin grows to level 14. Very nice, very nice. Next is an Illumice. Hmm, Illumice. Um, I'm gonna go into Cornelius. Cornelius needs dead experience. And Illumice is not too scary. I can't remember, is Illumice just bug? Or is he bug flying? I don't remember. These things are weird. I guess we're gonna figure it out here. I don't think it's flying, but... We're gonna hit it with a spark anyways. Okay, it's not flying type. Well, shit. <laughs> I always forget about these damn things. It's gonna go for the sweet scent. It does not matter at all. I can hit me with a charm. Oh, you asshole. Well, that's annoying. Now my, my attack harshly falls. So my sparks ain't gonna do a damn thing now. So you know what? You just asked for it. Gonna have to bring out the secret weapon on your ass. <laughs> my swallow. Steven the swallow. Gonna take a charm? Okay, fuck you. Just lowering my attack left and right. That's not cool. Now you just earned yourself a brave bird. And he's gonna go for a quick attack. Get that last little ditch effort. Alright. One brave bird is going to easily take care of this thing. I should have just went into Swallow in the first place <laughs> for this thing, but whatever. Alright, Steven. Good work. Good work. Got some solid experience. And Matang grew to level 23. Wants to learn Pursuit. Ah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna not learn Pursuit. It's not that useful in-game. You're disgustingly good. Alright, cool. So, there is anything over... anything over this way? Nope. Just a little sign. Trainer tips! One indicator of a Pokemon's potential power is its special attack stat. Special attack stat, okay, cool. Thanks for the information sign. Alright, and we got another Picnicker. What's going on? I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is peppy too. Oh, is that so? That's cool. We got one Pokemon. Travis has a sand shrew. Just one sand shrew, huh? Nice. Well, unfortunately, Cornelius cannot do shit to the sand shrew. Sand shrew would have been helpful for that last gym battle. Where the hell, where the hell was this shit last time? Should I go into Ballin and try to kill it? No, no, no. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Ballin's too young. Soon, young one. So, all right, Pinhead, get a little intimidate action going on here. And then just be able to just... Oh, it's going to go for a rapid spin. Get rid of my stealth rocks, huh? Okay, nice play. Nice play. Too bad there was no rocks up. So, one bubble beam should do the trick here. Considering my masquerade is a freaking beast. Doesn't even care about the special attack hindering nature. And it destroys that shit. So, alright. Great work. Travis was defeated. My Pokemon lost its pep. Why, yes, it did, Travis. So we continue on. I believe the sand, the, like the desert places over here. What's going on? Pokemon are even more lively than usual when they get out of here in nature. Is that so? Good to know. Good to know. This guy has got some sweet hair. Backpacker Emery has a Talo for his only Pokemon. And that is perfect. Cornelius can go ahead and uh, spark this bitch up. So let's see here. Level 21 Talo. Matching my level, are you? We go for a double team. Don't miss the spark. Don't miss it. Oh, damn it. Of course, when I say don't miss it, freaking Cornelius feels inclined to miss it. Alright, don't miss this time. There we go. That one hit kill. Oh, hell yeah. That damage. That Taylor faints. Cornelius got some experience. Nice and solid. Ballin, you're level 15. Moving on up there, Ballin. Even though I lost, I feel refreshed. Do you feel refreshed? That's cool. Okay, so. Over this way is the sandstorm where we cannot enter. It's vicious. It's impossible to keep going. We're gonna need ourselves some goggles before we're gonna fuck with that thing, so. That's cool. What's this sign say? Alright, Route 112 is this way. So we shall continue on and... Oh, would you look who it is? Ah! What's going on, May? Hayden! Look, right up there. That's Mount Chimney. Oh, shit! That is, aw that is an awesome scene right there. Hell yeah. 
It sure is big. That's what she said. More like huge. She's talk you talking about my dick or what, mate? Jesus. <laughs> I'd love to take the cable car. I'd love to take the cable, all cable car all the way up to the top someday. Why don't you do it now? Hmm. Hey, hey, don't your Pokemon seem a bit ragged around the edges? Here, let me give them a little boost. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. The team's health is restored. Here, take this too. And she also gives us HM04 for strength. Not bad. But you can find all kinds of ways to use it in the mountains that lie ahead. I bet you I can. Gasp, what am I doing? Mattering away here. I'm supposed to be on my way to Falborn to visit Professor Cosmo. I'm off for now, Hayden, but let's battle next time. Yeah, she's af she's afraid. She know I fucked that ass up. Alright, so. Over this way we got some grass. Let's see what kind of Oh, okay, there was a there was a some type of tail thing, and it's all the way over there. I'm probably gonna run into a Pokemon on the way. Yep, of course. Of course you run into a Pokemon on the way there. I remember there I was just gonna say, I remember there being hella numals here for some reason. That's cool. First Pokemon we run into is a Numel. I might consider using a camera up in this game. But you know I'm not sure. Let's see what else we can find in here. And another Numel. Well that's pretty cool. You know what? I say What what type is it? What what even here, let's see. Let, let's see, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna switch in balling on this thing. I'm gonna actually catch this new one. Just to have it for later, I'm, I'm honestly, a fire type would definitely come in handy. See myself. See myself using a camera up. Go ahead and bubble beam this thing. It probably won't kill it. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's gonna hit me with another flame burst. Ouch. Flame burst looks pretty badass, though. That's sweet. Alright, let's talk a ball at this thing. Alright, I'm gonna throw that great ball. Please just catch it first try. That would be awesome. You know you want to join the team, Numel. You know you want to join it. Yes, 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 yeah. Alright, first try. Caught ourselves a Numel. Good shit, good shit. Rest of your team. Okay, very nice. Data's added the Pokedex. Let's see what this thing's all about. What's going on, Numel? Newell's extremely dull-witted. It doesn't it doesn't notice being hit. However, it can it can't stand hunger for even a second. Jesus, fatty. This Pokemon's body is seething cauldron of boiling magma. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna name this thing Camel Toe. Because why the hell not? Camel Toe the Numel has been added to the to the roster. Well, he's actually just gonna, gonna go in the box for now, but hey, at least we know that we have a Numel for later. That's interesting. Okay, there was another... Let's see Let's see what this thing is. It's, it looks like a, it looks like it's gonna be an Oddish. Looks like an Oddish over there. If we can get close enough to see... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, it's Machop. What the hell? Okay, that's pretty cool. It's got the ability Guts. Its first move is Close Combat. What the fuck? Oh, my god. I'm gonna get this thing. Holy shit. So it knows close combat. That is awesome. What is going on, Machop? Shit. Shit, bruh. So, level 15. I don't feel comfortable fucking with this thing. So, you know what? I'm going to in balling. Since this dude's nice and similar leveled, I'll be able to uh, lower this thing's health. I'm going to catch this thing, too. Shit, how do I pass up? How does one pass up on a close combat Machop? It also has seismic toss, too, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna hit me for some solid damage though. I'm gonna go for that bubble beam. Probably won't do too much. Oh god, oh god, I should have just. Okay, at least it's gonna go for the close combat. It's not gonna be very effective because I'm fairy type. And uh, it's gonna lower its defenses, so that's kinda nice. I'm just gonna go for another bubble beam then. Shit. Alright, now it's just gonna seismic toss. And that is gonna kill me. Sorry, Meryl. You had to take one for the team there, buddy. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and use next Pokemon. What can I do? Um, you know what? I'm just going to send him a tank. I'm just going to start throwing some balls at this thing. I don't want to kill it. You never know when you're going to find a close combat Machop again. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to start throwing some Ultra Balls at this thing. Alright. Alright. Hell yeah. Yes. Alright. 
could not have gone more perfectly. So that's cool. Very nice, very nice. Machop's data was added to the Pokedex. What's going on? We're just catching shit left and right. Close combat Machop. What is going on? Machop's muscles are special. They never get sore no matter how much they are used in exercise. This Pokemon has sufficient power to hurl a hundred adult humans. Cool. I'm going to nickname this thing Hulk. The Hulk. Alright. So we got a close combat Machop. It's going to go sent to get sent to our box. So that's cool. Very nice. Very nice. We got to... Uh, I'm going to consider using that thing, you know? It can never be a bad addition. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there's a... Oh, shit. There was a Numel over this. There was a... Damn it. I can't pass this up. I'm going to see what kind of Numel this is. At least, going to kind of figure out if it has a special move or anything. All right. So, it's got the oblivious nature. First move, tackle. Yeah, screw that thing. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and battle this picnicker here. What's going on? I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. All right, I'll take your word for it, then. Camper Larry has two Pokemon. Gonna lead off with a Talo. Very nice, very nice. It's gonna be an easy, easy kill for Cornelius. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the Thunderfang. I don't even think I've used Thunderfang yet. <laughs> Just because it has a little bit less accuracy than Spark, but it does the same exact shit. So, all right, Talo dies. Perfect. And Cornelius grows to level 22. Next is a Zubat, perfect for my electric type. Let me go ahead and... I hate Zubat with a passion, so I'm gonna go ahead and Thunderfang yo bitch ass. As the Zubat dies in one hit. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So, Camper Larry was defeated, and you know, I gotta revive my Marrow. I should, that's probably... It would probably not be a bad idea to do. Considering... I would like that thing to get some experience, at least a little bit. So if we revive it, it's gonna continue getting a little bit of health or a little bit of experience from the, uh, the EXP share. So that's kind of nice. Anyways, we continue on this way. And we've got another camper. When you're out on a picnic, why? You simply have to sing. Come on, sing with me. No, I'm not gonna sing with you, you weird fucking camper person. Jesus, Carol. So Carol's got a gulpin. And that's neat. Nice gulpin you got there. I am going to... Okay, it's level 19. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and switch into Matang, give this thing a nice Zen headbutt, and then call it a day. All right, Matang. He's going to go for the sludge. Doesn't affect me. Predicted that perfectly. And then a Zen headbutt is going to tear this thing apart. So, your goal pin is balls. And then it's unfortunate for you, camper. Picnicker? Oh no, sorry, not Camper. Picnicker. My bad. Alright, so, it's all the trainers on this route, at least. So now we're gonna go up this way, where there's this guy running around. What's going on, buddy? My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. Really? Have you been pounding up and down the mountains, huh? Alright, so this guy's got three Pokemon. He's got a Geodude. Should have known since it's a hiker, having my electric type in the front was probably not the best idea, so. Well, shit. Let's go ahead and... Well, level, only level 17, too. What the hell is this? What the hell is this only level 17 bullshit? I'm just gonna go into Masquerade, then. Get a clean little Intimidate in case he wants to throw some rocks at me. Oh, Magnitude. Predicted that shit perfectly, too. Fucking Wi-Fi battling out here. Seriously, Jesus. Alright, so Bubble or bu Bubble Beam is gonna knock it down. Kill it. Does not have Sturdy. Thank you very much. Your team got that experience. Steven grew to level 26. Next is another Geodude. Very nice. Alright, Geodude, I'm just gonna give you a Bubble Beam too and just hope that you don't have Sturdy, because that would be fantastic. Oh, of course it does have Sturdy. So that's just great. Now it's gonna go for a Rock Polish. Try to get a little bit of speed. Why would you do that? What, what was the logic behind that? I'm still faster. <laughs> Jolly nature. Hell yeah. And the Geodude, thanks. Guessing this dude's got one more Geodude or something? Maybe? Yep, yep, one more Geodude, of course. Leave it to the hikers to have three freaking Geodudes. It's pretty damn ridiculous. So a bubble beam to your rock face is gonna kill you, and thank you for not having Sturdy. That's nice. Alright, we got some experience. And Bong grew to level 16. Wants to learn Helping Hand. Gonna go ahead and say negative on that one. 
And I think it actually might be time to honestly turn off the EXP share. Seeing seeing what levels we're, we're running into, it seems a really low. So you know what? We're gonna, for at least for a little while, we might come in back and turn it off, turn it on later. But we're gonna turn the EXP share off for now, just because that should be should be a little bit more difficult. What's going on? Ha ha ha! How about we have a battle, you and me? What, what, why is everything so funny to these to these hiker guys? You know, you you never know. Oh, but I still have my electric in front. Which is unfortunate, as this guy's gonna bring in a Numel. Alright, Numel. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in Pinhead again because my bubble beams are fucking ridiculously strong. Not really, but <laughs> they're actually not strong at all. But it's pretty funny how I just use bubble beam all the damn time. It's gonna go for an ember, as that's super effective, but Oh, and it gets the burn. Well, that is that is unlucky for me, shit. Sorry, Pinhead. I'm gonna have to enjoy that burn. So I'm gonna hit this thing with a nice little bubble beam. Should kill it in one hit. Easy. See you later, Numel. Sayonara. Gonna get hurt by my burn. Oh no. And then next is a Machop. So we're just gonna go ahead and stay in then. Because I do have Air Cutter. I bet your Machop doesn't have close combat, does it? Well, mine does. So ha. So I'm gonna hit this thing. What an air cutter and the Machop has fainted. Very nice. Good work, Pinhead. You're level 27 as well. Good shit. Luckily there's no experience share, so we're not gonna be growing fucking levels all the damn time, so that's cool. Alright. What are these Team Magma dudes doing here? Grumble. You two never cease to complain, Grumble. What happened to the others who went to Fawbor? They're late. Well, it looks like we can't take the cable car for now. So we're going to have to take a step inside the fiery path. Oh shit. The fiery path is bringing back memories. Oh, there's a coughing in here. Nice. So you can find, I think you can find slugmas in here. You can find coughings, evidently. Um, there's probably numels. I can't remember what else there is in this place. I guess we shall find out, though. So you can actually... Use strength to push that, but we can't use strength until we at least get the next badge, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold off. See what else there is in this place. Run into another wild Pokemon real quick. And it's a Numel. What's up, Numel? Numel reminds me of like Eeyore from like the <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. He just looks sad as hell all the time. Let's try to run into something else, see what we can find. Just because I went through this place too, too quick, and there's like no wild Pokemon in this place, Jesus. Where are all the freaking Pokemon at? And just another coffee. Well, alrighty then. Mr. Coughing, sorry to bother you. Gonna go ahead and run from your ass. Alright, let's just get out of this damn fiery path. I would have liked to see a Slugma, but... Whatever. Alright, so... We're on a new route here. What's going on, guy? What's going on? I'm not such an... Oh, oh, something happened with my computer. Hold on. Alright, sorry. I'm not such an amateur. Oh, oh. Alright. Shit. So, my computer brought, like, an update thing, and it made my... Oh, damn it. <laughs> it made my video 3DS thing freaking stop. Oh, God. Well... We're going to have to continue where we left off next time. Shit.